Hey there and good morning. Welcome to 2020. 2020, the time is here. And I guess the time is now. I hope you all had a fantastic night on New Year's Eve and launched into New Year's Day with gusto, with absolute gusto and focus and energy. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed your New Year's Eve celebrations and you were with people that you love and people that you cherish. But um, but now you're ready. Now you're ready to go. In terms of Sharon and I, we had a very quiet and peaceful uh, New, Year, uh, New Year's Eve. We ran our New Year, sorry, our New York Roadrunners Resolution virtual 5K yesterday potted around the garden I've got into um, really welcoming in wild birds into the into the yard it gives me something outside of we all need a, a something outside of what we do and um, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment about attracting wild birds and lorikeets and parakeets and hopefully some kookaburras coming along soon but um, I did a little bit of work in the garden repotted some plants and then spent the afternoon watching the New York, uh, New York scene, the New Year at Times Square, and we watched that on CNN. So that was that was a really interesting couple of hours that we just spent watching that. It was a little bit of fun. It was a little bit of frivolity. But during uh, New Year's Eve, yeah, so New Year's Eve in Times Square is a bit of a bucket list for a lot of people. And and I get that because we we it, there's been movies about it. There's it's just one of the biggest things in the world to do. But to me, it comes across as a bit of a battle of endurance and and the need to have some quality diapers or some quality nappies, as we say here in Australia, because people get there about ten o'clock in the morning and you're corralled in. You can't leave. Ultimately, there's no public toilets that are available. The only toilets in Times Square either belong to restaurants or, or the like, and those toilets are um, obviously there for their paying customers. So there's no toilet facilities. And in respect of that, it holds very little appeal for me to for me personally to go there and get there at 10 o'clock in the morning, stay corralled, stay standing, stay unable to leave to go to the toilet or to get food. It just doesn't strike me as being a fantastic day. However, I understand why it would be a fantastic day for a lot of people. It's a bucket list item and people want to do that sort of thing. And, you know, ultimately when I talked about the quality of the diapers or the quality of the nappies, people have to wear them. It, it's almost... Um, it's almost a rite of passage. If you're going to go to Times Square on New Year's Eve, you're wearing nappies because, as I said, there's no toilet facilities, there's no public toilet facilities. So, you know, to me it's a battle of uh, endurance. So good luck uh, and good luck if that's on your bucket list. It's um, it's not on mine. However, if I was in New York on, on New Year's Eve, I, I would probably love to be in a restaurant or maybe a rooftop bar with with a good view of the of the um, the general public just out there enjoying the night. But um, hopefully, with a view of Times Square, or you can watch CNN like we did here from Brisbane last yesterday afternoon. But fourteen hours without access to a toilet just doesn't strike me as being an enjoyable sort of a day. That's a real battle of stamina. So now I know that I've been banging on about conquering 2020 and I really want you to have the most successful year that you can have. And that, that's truly because I care about what others are doing and I get a real kick and a real sense of satisfaction around what other people are doing and how they're, they're kicking goals and how they're achieving things. But one thing that really stood out to me while I was going through and looking at social media during the course of 
um, you know, the couple, last couple of days. We assign great power to a year, don't we? We just assign it. We provide power to a year. We make a year the bestower, the bestower of gifts, a delivery of fate, or whichever way we look at it. We say things like 2019 was good to me, 2019 really delivered. Or on the other side, uh, on the other side, we say 2019 was shit out or it was a crock, you know. So we're giving the year power. We're giving it power. We talk about the year as if it's something that somehow, somewhere, someone decided that this year was going to be the the bestower of gifts or the deliverer of fate. And that's our concept. We sort of keep our fingers crossed and hope that 2020 is going to be a good year for us. Now, in my mind, the year doesn't make you, you make the year. So let me just repeat that. The year doesn't make you, you make the year. Because every year we're going to have losses. Every year we're going to lose people out of our lives. Every year we will stumble. Every year we will fail. But if we're focused, disciplined and structured, every year we'll also have success. And it's when we allow life to wash over us as we drift along, you know, as we drift along, as we drift our way through, it's only when we don't have focus do we accept what fate, destiny or whatever else you want to call it dishes up on us. It's only when we don't have focus do we then start thinking about or talking about the concept of fate, destiny or whatever else you want to call it. So call it process, call it structure, call it focus. And that's how we deliver for ourselves. And that's why I'd really love you to join the group that we're ready to, getting ready to go for your pivotal year. Now, let me share what month one looks like. So, so I've had some um, feedback and some messages come through that um, they're not quite ready because they haven't set their goals. And, and that's okay. So it's going to take a while for people, most people, to actually understand what it is that they want to do. Month one on your pivotal year is all about self-discovery. It's all about self-discovery. We'll be exploring your goals like you've never explored them before. We'll be working through aspects of your life like professionally, but personally, mentally, physically, um, from a health perspective, we will even look at things like what fun goals that you'll be looking to achieve, um, any love goals, relationship goals, family matters, all that sort of thing. So we'll be following a process to discover not just what our goals are, but what our passions are as well, because that's that's where we really need alignment between our goals and our passion. We go into detail early. Because the more detail we can go into, the greater the focus, the greater the energy, and the more chance that you have of having success. Makes some sense, doesn't it? Because we make the year, the year doesn't make us. The other thing that sets this program apart, it isn't just designed to be something that trots out at New Year's Eve and we lose focus by February. We will have three intakes every year for your pivotal year. The first intake, of course, is coming up. The first intake closes on January 7. So I really want you, if this is where you want to be, I'd really urge you to um, to book that call. Let's have a chat. So we close on January 7. The next intake will be in May. And then we'll have one last intake every year in September. So we'll be hitting it three times a year for your pivotal year because we know that this stuff works. We follow a process, we follow structure, we follow that whole concept of group empowerment and group coaching. You get individualised coaching sessions as well. It is an amazing program and I really want you to have the success. So three intakes every year that will help you succeed. So it's not just for... January 1, it's not just for the new years, it's when you finally decided enough is enough. I need to invest in myself and I need to make this happen for me. So 
Month one is all about self-awareness. Let's discover what really is, what it is that you really want to achieve, what it is that you really want to achieve. This is a program like no other program that you've been on, read about, heard about. This is 365 days, 12 months, and it's designed to help you succeed. So if you're unsure of what your goals actually look like for 2020, that shouldn't be holding you back because month one is all about let's discover what they look like in all aspects of your life. Check out the link. You'll see it in the description as per always. Let's get 2020 working for you. Let's make it the year that you will never forget because it's that pivotal year that you're looking for in your life to really kick success Um, for you, whatever that looks like for you. I'll catch you all soon.